Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a new moon happening early in the month, as well as a full moon mid-month as well, happening in key, very sensitive parts of your sky. And then you add to all this Neptune in your opposite sign, standing still and going retro. So there is a lot to talk about here let's start with that new moon right out of the gate right around the third of the month give or take a day on either side depending on where you are on the planet this month's new moon will take place now this new moon is happening at the very top of your sky this is a part of the sky that has to do with understanding your career promotions interviews auditions it has to do with new opportunities to align with your chosen ladder to success it has to do with your goals and in a more spiritual sense it has to do with your understanding of your life purpose and aligning yourself with a higher more loving vision for your life well this particular new moon uh, would in and of itself being a new moon represent brand new opportunities uh, and new possibilities as well. And so this is where that chance for promotion, that chance to actually interview or audition uh, seems most likely. But the thing is with this new moon, Neptune is going to be speaking with this new moon in a conversation of tension, which does suggest that all may not be as it seems on the surface. And so it can be that what is being presented to you is actually very different than the reality. Um, sometimes this is unintentional. Sometimes you just don't realize that uh, our own hope colors what it is that we want. And this is the most natural thing. I think it's a very human thing actually, to actually see with the eyes of hope and to see the potential rather than what is actually there or what could actually be there. And so this is why I would advise, uh, if it is that you do secure some career-related, life purpose-related opportunity, if it is that there are contracts involved, um, if you can, right? It's a lot of ifs, but if you can uh, postpone the signing of important career-related uh, documents, away from this new moon it would probably be a good idea uh, only because again there could be key details there that are being overlooked but for all that this can be a time when you are aware that there is more whether out there or within you to give and this can be a time of wonderful creativity as well in terms of your understanding of what more you want to do and what more it is that you desire to do. There's a lot more that you do have to do with this lifetime. Uh, and so this is part of the excitement and the enthusiasm that is going to try to find you now. If it feels elusive, if it feels as if I wish I was more connected to this, uh, or I wish I was more connected to this expression, that really is okay. Allow yourself to feel what you do. Chances are your own feelings around a particular opportunity are going to be shifting and moving and changing along the way. And as much as you may feel an opportunity is much better than you are realizing, it can be reversed too where an opportunity you feel is not so good uh, may actually turn out to be the most ideal situation that you could ask for. So it is about you trusting, you showing up, and then seeing where it is that the opportunities and your intuition take you moving forward. But your first impression is not going to be the ultimate impression. And your first impression very likely isn't going to be a complete picture just yet. You are going to need the rest of the month to navigate to get to that place of a more clear understanding of what this opportunity actually represents and represented for you. As we navigate two weeks later, we are going to have right around the 18th, a full moon. And this full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. Now, this is a part of the sky that has to do with home and family of origin. It has to do with your understanding of your own past and bringing a spirit of forgiveness and new perspective to your past. And it has to do with um, 
feeling truly at home with yourself and in the world. Well, again, this full moon will be speaking with Neptune in a conversation of tension. The difference this time is that Neptune will be slowing down to a standstill a few days later, officially going retrograde. When a planet is actually changing directions, its energies are thought to be that much more heightened. And in this case with Neptune, the element of confusion grows that much stronger, or at least uncertainty, or at least feeling like you have your answer and then not really being sure if you do. And that really is okay. But a lot of this, at least around the full moon, is going to speak to what is happening on the home front. Now, Neptune is in your opposite sign. Partners are gonna play a key part at this time as well. For some, if you work from home or with home and you have uh, business alliances, key business partnerships, these particular types of situations could come into focus at this time where you are getting another look or another understanding as to a particular dynamic, what role it plays, where it is that you wish it would do more or this person would do more, where it is that you feel certain alliances are contributing to your success and where it is that maybe they are not. This is going to be a time when you are starting to feel that much more like you're trying to put your finger on what it is that you wish was better. But it may not be so simple and it may not be so clear cut. And again, that really is okay. When we have such strong Neptunian energy, sometimes we need a little bit of time for a little bit of a breather before things start to look a little bit more clear. However, I will say this, if it does feel as if a business partnership is dissolving or ending right around this time, it really is okay. You can allow it and another person to do what they need to do. The people who are there for you are going to be there for you. And it really is that simple. And I do really believe that the universe has a wise and loving plan for your life. And the people who are part of that will naturally be drawn to you. The people who no longer are just will not. And it doesn't have anything to do with your potential and the ultimate success that you will arrive at. Now, for some of you, uh, this could be a matter related to home, related to where you live and how you feel about it and what is happening within a partnership, especially if you live with your partner or have a desire to uh, progress the relationship so that you are living with your partner. These may be areas of consideration for you at this time as well. It can feel a little like you wish uh, it was coming together a little bit more smoothly. It may feel as if you wish your partner was a little bit more on board with the changes that you are hoping to make. Again, allow things to take their own course. Allow things to pace themselves as they need to because things may not be as it seems right away. And what I mean by that is your own feelings may change and what it is that you're expecting. Well, the reality may or may not match that. And very likely the reality will be very different than what it is that you're imagining these changes on the home front may actually bring. So whether it is that your partner is encouraging these changes or resistant to these changes, uh, regardless, it does look like what is evolving now truly is an evolving situation and what it seems at first glance may not be the case. If it is that you are hoping to invest or make changes at home, whether it's redecorating, remodeling, where possible, try not to initiate uh, that type of uh, activity, especially in the days around this full moon, if you can help it. Um, I would also say with this, because Neptune is involved here, um, this may not be relevant for many Virgos out there, but for a small percentage of you, you are going to have to be mindful of things like water in your home uh, to just make sure that everything's okay on that front, that you're able to control and contain the water uh, where you need. Now, also happening right around the time that Neptune is standing still and going retro is that Mercury is going to go into shadow. Next month will be a Mercury retrograde uh, month. And this is important for you for a few reasons. One is Mercury is your ruling planet. So wherever it is uh, that Mercury goes, and whatever it is that Mercury does, uh, tends to be that much more significant for you. 
But also, Mercury is going to spend this Mercury retrograde season moving in and out of two areas of your sky. One has to do with friendship and groups that you belong to. The other has to do with a sense of you uh, feeling as if something deep within you is coming to the surface, sort of an inner restlessness that you can't quite put your finger on. And so this process and what it's going to mean for you actually starts now. And so it is important to pay attention. What is it that is transpiring for you, where it comes to other people in particular this month? Because as we navigate forward, chances are that if you're involved in a group endeavor, professional or personal, or you have your friends, it could be that right around the 20th, the 21st, that is when if it feels as if a matter arises having to do with a friend chances are it won't be the final answer it won't be uh, just what is being presented to you but there will be further contemplation consideration and changes that are going to come up as we navigate further into this mercury retrograde season and of course i'll be here to talk about it every step of the way now, where it comes to matters of love, it really is all about that Neptune. Uh, Neptune is standing still in your opposite sign, and that is going to speak very strongly to what is happening for you in the realm of partnerships, your desire for partnership, where you are in love and why and how you feel about it, and the partnership that you have now, especially where it comes to the context of love. Now you add to this that about a week into the month, Venus is going to move into the very top of your sky and will be part of this Neptunian energy as well. And as I look at this, I feel like on the one hand, there's a true sense of uh, desire to, to go big where it comes to matters of love. You're thinking about your bigger picture, your longer range goals. And at the same time though, you may be having to address some of your own disappointments that have taken place before and some of your own uh, mixed emotions around what is happening in the context of love. So if you are open to meeting someone new, this can be a time, especially once we get towards that full moon, where it feels like there's a lot coming to the surface in terms of uh, your desire for relationship, but maybe some mixed feelings around relationship. It could be that you do connect with someone in a genuine way, um, but they may be the ones sending some mixed messages. And that is just part of how things work out sometimes. Now I will say this, once we get you into next month, right out of the gate in July. It is eclipse month. We're going to have an eclipse in a very romantic part of your sky as well. Love is going to be powerfully karmic once we get there. But I feel like at least for this month, it in many ways will set the stage for those truly big changes coming up for you ahead, where it comes to your heart opening and feeling that much more connected to another. For those of you just getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, this can be a powerful time where you are realizing the depths of your own hopes, your own desires that may or may not have anything to do with this person. But I would also add with this that there is that possibility here of seeing what you hope to see rather than what is or of being actively presented with an image or a reality of this person that may not actually be connected with the reality. So whether it is that this person is presenting it to you, whether it is you that is choosing uh, what to see, chances are you're gonna feel a little caught up in a moment right around the middle of the month. And then as you navigate forward, you'll start to get a little bit more of a balanced perspective to understand what it is that is actually uh, transpiring here with this person and if there is long-term potential here. For those of you who are in an established bond, look, uh, I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> Neptune, uh, doing the things that Neptune is, sometimes it can feel as if your partner is aloof or is sending really mixed messages. Uh, sometimes it can feel as if your partner is not able to be clear about what it is that they want as well. Now that may or may not have anything to do with you directly, but it can be a little bit frustrating being around someone where you feel as if you know the answer, you have the answer you want, or you have a certain expectation, but then wonder why it is that they've made certain choices that they have, or why it is that they're uh, taking things in a bit of a different direction. 
The key to remember here is to be patient, to be patient with yourself, to be patient with your partner as well. Uh, chances are whether it is, again, it could be your perception, but it could also be that there's just a lot of different ideas being held <laughs> in your partner's mind. Uh, and it could be a genuine belief that they communicated something to you that actually uh, was heard very differently than intended. It could also play out that your partner is having some mixed feelings around uh, something that you're really hoping for, something that you're really hoping either the two of you could do or you have your heart set on, some change that you're hoping will take place. Um, and if this is the case, then it is ultimately seeking to understand each other that can help the two of you move forward. What I love about this month for you, well look, there is a lot here but I truly love how you are on the precipice of big changes. Like your heart is about to feel so much more wide open, uh, so much more able to love yourself and others. And on the precipice of a real sense of camaraderie and connection with others as well. But that's next month, <laughs> at least for this month, there is work, there are goals. And at the same time, there is a sense of you wanting clarity as to where you stand with another person and what it is that you're truly hoping for as well. And there are times like these that ultimately provide you with very valuable questions and the answers truly liberating, wonderful answers right around the corner. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.